sun is just like shining in here. I fucking me. It's fucking my eyeball. So I'm sorry if the lighting in this video is off, but we're back to do another book haul because what's fucking new, bitch? I bought more books because I'm addicted. Also, a new bookstore opened up near me and I didn't know about it. And then I was told when I found out about this bookstore, I ran, bitch. I didn't run. I jumped in the car, but I also towed three children with me, three children to go see this bookstore. So we've got some books from QBD Books. We've also got some books from Big W and I just want to show you guys these new books that are going to look delicious on my shelf. You know how these book hauls go. I show you them. We talk about it. I put them on the shelf. My favorite thing to do. The first book I want to talk about is this one here. Okay. Monica Murphy. I've got every Monica Murphy book that I've stumbled across and I haven't even read any of them yet and I don't know if I will. It's just one of those situations where I need to own them because I love the covers and also I see them everywhere so I buy them. I buy them. So this one here is things I wanted to say but never did. It's a big boy. I did see the other day that her covers are getting a makeover and I've got to talk about it. I'm fucking sick. I'm fucking sick and tired of buying books from authors and then the books get picked up by a publishing company and then all of a sudden the covers change. The part of my reading enjoyment is collecting the books, right? And there's nothing better than collecting a bunch of books from the same series and they all have matching covers. Why are they changing? Why are they constantly changing? I got this book too, um, which I really like the cover because it's like animated, but it's like cute, all right? Not meeting Mr. Right. Don't know much about it. Alice is successful, independent, and happily single, but at her 10 year school reunion, she has a sudden change of heart. Bored by her judgmental, married, mortgaged, and motherly former classmates, Alice decides to prove that a woman can have it all, a man, a marriage, a career, and a mind of her own. The goal, meet the perfect man and marry him before her 30th birthday, just under two years away. Together with her best friends, Danny, Liza, and Peter, Alice draws up a plan. Unfortunately for Alice, it's not quite as easy as she imagined. I will say now that this author is Australian and the heroine is indigenous. What? That's incredible. Stunning cover. So this is The Bronze Horseman. When I spoke about the tattooist of Or Switch, Or Switch, Or I give up. When I spoke about that book, tons of you, tons of you recommended The Bronze Horseman because it's a historical romance set in World War II, but in Russia. So many of you said it's amazing. It's incredible. So I saw it at Big W and I said, oh my God. That's the book. I have to own that book. So I bought it, okay? I bought the book and I started reading it and I got this far in, okay? Look how big this fucking thing is. Like, are you, are you joking me? Paulina, that's the author's name. How dare you write a book that fucking big <laughs> for my ADHD head? The reason why I have an issue with it is because of the font. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this up close. Look how small this font is. You've got to be fucking joking me. Look at this font. Are you, my eyes, I was going cross-eyed, bitch. I think I need glasses. This is tiny, tiny. I couldn't even imagine how big this book would be if it was written in larger font, like proper font, not this tiny, like, what is that? Is that for like miniature humans? Who can see that? Not me, bitch, not me. That's the only problem I have with the book so far. I would read more of it if the font wasn't so fucking small. Then I saw this on the shelf and I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you're coming home with me. Because it's The Wives by Taryn Fisher, Tazza Fisher, okay? I've been eyeing off Taryn Fisher's books for such a long time. So as soon as I saw the wives, I was like, mm-hmm, bitch, I have to have you because it's a thriller. And I also opened it up and instantly fell in love because one of the pages that I read mentioned the heroine buying roses because they look like a vagina. I thoroughly enjoyed that sentence. Now we have QBD books. This got me horny. Oh, now the sun goes away. <laughs> now the sun goes, oh no, it's coming back. It's coming back to I fuck me yet again. When I went to QBD Books, I got so excited because they had so many books, so many books. It It's literally like the Barnes and Noble of Australia. We do have Dimmix, which is very similar to Barnes and Noble, but I don't have one near me, bitch. QBD Books though, even though not as good as Dimmix, 
will do it, okay? It will do the job and it will do it well. The first book I got from this bookstore is Charlie, Love and Clichés by Ella Mays. So this is Ella Mays' new book. It's just been released and as soon as I saw it, I said, thank you so much. Not that I've read anything from Ella Mays. I do have Marriage for One up here on this shelf here that I really want to read. It's been on my TBR for about four fucking years, I kid you not, and I want to read it so bad, but I just keep picking up other books instead of that one uh, and I thought I'd add this one to the collection because it is pink <laughs> literally <laughs> I, I can't find pink books bitch it's a real problem I'm gonna end up having a pink fucking oh my god <gasps> I should make a whole shelf pink no I mean like a whole entire like not just one shelf like a whole bookcase <gasps> pink <gasps> could you imagine I don't even know what it's about um, because I don't read blurbs. When I read ebooks, I do read the blurbs. But when I'm in a bookstore, I rarely read a blurb. I just go off the cover. You know that saying, don't judge a book by its cover? I judge. So this next book is by this author. And this one is called Avoiding Mr. Right. And look how cute. I love these covers, man. Like this one's super cute because it's pink. <laughs> Typical me. Obviously, the heroine is a darker woman and i'm here for it this is also set in melbourne or sydney i don't know aussie author set in australia i'm here for it please check this author out i haven't read anything from her but these books are divine and they're gonna look so look at that they're gonna look so fucking good on the shelf oh look at that so good oh i'm getting mad they're also not large books they're under 300 pages yes that's what i want under 300 pages. Don't give me haunting Adeline fucking style. Otherwise, you'll go in the bin. These ones still have the price tag on them. And then I got this one by Kristen Higgins, Pack Up the Moon. I've seen this everywhere. I saw it in store and was like, <laughs> thanks. Um, I've heard this is a really good book. And I just, you know, want to read it. Here it says, TikTok sensation. It's so weird that you're buying books now. And it says, on the book. It's printed on the book. TikTok sensation. That is so strange. So bizarre. What are we going to think in like 30 years time when we pick up these books and it says TikTok sensation? Like, wow. This book I actually got from Target and I was really excited by this because it sounds really cool. So we've got Phoebe who's obsessed with true crime and she is adamant that her neighbor is a serial killer. But it ends out being that he's actually a really nice guy and I think they fall in love. What a story. It reminded me of Bailey Sarian. And I think maybe it kind of looks like that this book has been inspired by Bailey Sarian. I wonder. I'm going to look up this author, Alice Thompson. I'm going to suss her out. It sounds really fun and super different, so I couldn't pass it up. Again, the page count is under 300. So this sounds like it could totally be a book that you could read in one sitting. I finally found Delilah Green Doesn't Care. Okay, I've been wanting this book for months now. And I got Astrid Parker Doesn't Fail. And I've been looking for this one. Sapphic Romance. It's quite popular. It is written in third person. But I think I'll be able to read it. Though I struggle with third person. I'm just excited to finally have this because I've been looking for it everywhere. I've been searching, I've been looking, I've been searching, and I got it. And it's purple. And it's cute. And I like it. And it's sapphic. And ignore me because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and the lucky last book is this one here. Okay, I've never read anything from Megan Quinn. Megan? Megan Quinn? I don't know. Not so meat cute. I hate the fucking name. A not so meat cute? What the fuck does that even mean? There's quite a few of her books on the shelf, but I chose this one because I've seen this one much more than the others. I don't like the cover though. I don't know why I bought it. Why did I buy this if I don't like the cover? Like, who, who is this man? Why are you looking at me like that, sir? Anyway, that is it for my book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, this little book haul. Mm -mm -mm. I love filming them. I know they're quick, short, and sweet, uh, but they're just easy to film, and I just love going shopping and buying books, bitch. It's my favorite thing. Like, actually going and getting an iced coffee, and then walking to the bookstore, walking into the bookstore, not to the bookstore, because I don't walk. I drive, bitch. I drive. I hope you guys have a good day, wherever you are. Thanks for watching. Subscribe before leaving, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.